so we're getting ready for this Hurricane Ian that's supposed to hit early Thursday morning here. Um, we will be heading over and staying with my brother and sister-in-law. Um, so we're using today to tidy up quite a bit. Um, today's Tuesday and uh, I'm just gonna walk around and make sure that things are as tidy as they can be. Look y'all, my roselle is blooming. This stuff grows so fast, I'm just amazed. It's so big and round. It actually fell over, it was standing as a tree, but it decided to fall over. And then I was, I was, I, pff, my, I can't talk. As I was coming over here to look at everything, I noticed that my flowers are blooming. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. My hydrangea. So pretty. And I think this is the hyd... Is this a hydrangea? Or no. No. That's the hydrangea and this is the hydrangea. It's all thickening up and colorifying nicely. I was just out here cleaning up all of the seed start trays and notice those things. It is Wednesday morning. It's been raining just about all night and we're receiving some gusts of wind. About 1230 Wednesday afternoon. Winds are picking up. Alright, it's Thursday morning. We are back at the house assessing damage. We got quite a bit of um, debris, but I'll turn the camera on to show you. This is over at the barn. There's a tree down from across the fence, our Jabodi Kaba is leaning. Um, we've got more trees from across the fence. Uh, looks like it just missed our jackfruit tree. Um, looks like, oh my, this cherry tree looks like it is maybe uprooted. Hold on, let's see, let's go around back. I hope not. Oh yeah, it's it's trying to it's 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 come up. Wow. That's sad. Um we got a beaten through here. Here's from the other side that tree come across the fence. We got a lot of flooding and our banana trees have snapped some of them. Oh wow, look at all these trees down back here. They're come from across the fence. Wow. And our trailer seems to be. I think our house is okay. They're, yeah, they're like annihilated. They're completely flattened. Oh yeah, whatever's under that oak tree. That's the um, Cherimoya tree. Our um, mango Fine. made it, and our yucca cassavas will come back. Wow, wow, it, it really uprooted at the bank over there. We're gonna have some fence work. We're gonna have, wow, a lot, oh wow. Hey, the bees made it. This bees bo bee boxes are okay, and the bees, if you can see them, are still crawling on it. The 
But look at that, our banana trees. Our, they really got it. Our poor Moringa that was surviving in the middle of the wood pile got twisted out too. Yeah, the house seems perfectly fine, thank God. Um, got a lot of debris everywhere. All these burn barrels stayed put in the trailer. We've got some debris around the greenhouse. We'll look at that in a second, but it looks like some panels got pulled out of it, but at least it stayed in place and nothing fell on it. Our pond is very high. I don't know that it's overflowing the bank, but it got up to the top. All right, here's the garden. Got a limb a little bit down there. I think it survived fine. Good thing we built it up because it is definitely flooded. Let's see how much everything got thinned up back here. Looks like the avocado trees are okay. How bad is it? It's pretty bad. Is it? What happened? As far as that avocado tree, look at all the avocados left on it. It's perfectly fine. Yeah? A little bit shifted. I'm kind of surprised. Everything, all the damage is blown out of the north. Uh-huh. Yeah. That surprises me when most of the wind was coming out of the south. But it must have been on the back side of the storm. Oh, wow. Look at this tree. Yeah. Both of these are, are pushed that way. Yeah. Both of our Especially mango. Fell right over. Wow, and we thought we had it tied in the right place. Yeah, because I never would have thought it would have went that direction. It was all, it was leaning so bad this way. Oh goodness, do you think it's salvable? Yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to, because the root, everything is still intact. Yeah. Either that or I could let one of these little ones grow. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a bunch of little ones started. <laughs> But I've got some serious pruning to do. Well, the peaches are okay. Now, this tree was already Damaged. broken before the hurricane, so we knew we had to clean that up. So that's not from the hurricane. This avocado tree did fine for here. Yeah, which is amazing. This is the day avocado. Um, how did our... This lychee tree got busted up. Lychee. Let me come around here. Just this one this seems now. okay. The that one's fine. Sweetheart is okay, but yeah, we that got one's some. Busted open. Look at the middle. The, the middle, middle is just gone. gone. In this tree. Yep, it's all gone. Wow. Our peaches are they okay. Some stress can help these things fruit, so we'll see what oh, happens. Well, that's good. They've definitely it's been definitely stressed. stressed. I don't know why, but it, it just seems more open through there. And it may be just because the trees on the fence line came down and the bananas are down. <laughs> this is way worse than Irma. Yeah, it is way worse. And we didn't even get... Imagine if this hurricane had come up the direction that they had, they had said. We would be in much worse shape. All right, I'm going to head over there to the tomatoes and see what condition they're in. I would be surprised if they made it. There's just high water around here. Okay, so here's one tomato. It's fallen over, but it's still attached, so it, it may revive. It looks like basically they're okay, they're just flattened out. So I think, I think we're okay with those. See, they're flattened out. We just gotta get them trellised, make sure that they remain okay. It's kinda hard to see them with the other weeds, but I think they'll be okay. 
neighbors got some damage on their side as well. Carport overhangs and such. We lost a um, tree right over here. And there's just a lot of debris everywhere. I am thankful that even though there's no damage to the house, we um, stayed at my brother's, but very thankful that the house is okay.